sometimes may mga things like yung mga products that are hard to express purely on photo lang. Kasi syempre, photo lang siya, like one thing lang siya na not moving. With videos, mas mapapakita mo yung different angles of the product and you can also share in-depth stories about it. Hi! I'm Kim from Pulseres by Kim and welcome to Common Room's YouTube channel. So today, I'm going to teach you how to make reels. type of short form video content. So it's similar to TikTok. Pero ang short videos lang siya features a lot of trendy dances, small business content related things, mga relatable stuff, mga I guess memes, mga funny things. Basically a new feature on Instagram that is more on video focus than that a photo focus. Currently, um, reels and you know, mga short form na video are great for reaching new audiences. So basically, I guess yun yung term for it na it reaches people na outside of your follower range. So, kasi it gets suggested to other people na might be interested in that content. So, usually, nagbe-browse lang ako ng reels and then I send yung mga interesting ones or like, isip ko kayo ko i-recreate with, to myself. So, parang, for example, this one, we'll, we'll make this one. So this one. Wait, padol. Okay. So basically, yung parang just no real is like what you thought would happen versus what actually happened. Parang garon. For this one, ang ginawa niya is parang financial related. So parang yung divorce daw niya garon garon financially. So parang akala niya parang fresh start. And then no, parang dami parang yung binayaran. So, parang what I usually do is think about how I could translate it to yung jewelry brand. So, same audio na parang what I thought I'd be doing as a small business owner. Tapos kala ko make jewelry. But then parang I keep on replying <laughs> lang to HM. Also relate to it. So, marami din nagsabi na parang, uh, parang haka, same, parang ganun, too real. So, it helps din na parang a lot of people relate to the thing that you're making. First step ko usually is nililinis ko yung lens kasi <laughs> it comes out blurry sometimes especially if na hawakan siya ng fingerprint. Kasi syempre, good quality reels also help a lot na parang if maganda yung quality of the video. So, we, I usually take a lot of parang behind the scenes or how we um, added, created the items na videos. So, for that, I usually just set up yung parang basic setup na ganito. And then, I put my phone sa tripod. Tapos I angle it na para medyo kita yung kung saan ako. And then my hands lang. And then I just press record. Tapos I have my tools here. So example, I'm just adding this. So ito, I'm just recording this. Na para I'm adding this to the chain. Yeah. Para may clips na para nag add and then I'll edit that in the video. I'll choose kung saan yung part na mas kita kita kasi syempre I recorded the other parts na hindi naman kasama. So I'll choose that. Tapos insert it on the video. Tapos sometimes I also zoom in konte para mas kita yung detail of what is happening. Tapos the other ones are clips lang of the item. So parang I just added yung clips ng item like this to make the video. So for me, yung approach ko to reels is set a boundary. As in, set what you are comfortable with doing on camera. Kasi syempre, kung di ka naman comfortable, it'll show sa camera. For me, yung boundary ko is like, I do not dance. And also yung mga parang audio and yung mga nagsasalita na curse words. Parang feeling ko not on brand. Parang ganun. As in, go naman eh. It's part of the song. It's whatever. Di naman ako against it. Pero parang as yung business and face ng business, parang hindi lang comfortable doon. So yun yung line for me na parang pag may curse word, parang I'll bleep it out na lang. And pag may dancing trend, parang no. I guess it shows my personality also. Mahilig kasi ako doon sa medyo mga may funny 
punch na content. And I also think na humor is a great way to be relatable. So I love making yung mga medyo funny pero medyo sarcastic na content. And also a lot of mga behind the scenes na reels, na mga video na parang ito yung how we make this item. Of course, based on yung mga reels that I've done before, when you show your face, mas ano talaga, mas engaging. Like kasi parang kinakausap mo talaga yung camera, yung yung viewer eh. As in you're really talking to them. So sa totoo lang, higher engagement. Pero yun na, if you're not comfortable, marami rin namang options that you know, you can hide your face or ano na is also good with views. Of course, it's a choice na if you want to show your face on camera kasi I, I understand na some people di talaga comfortable, like my sister, hindi siya comfortable. So for her, like examples ko lang na parang what she does is usually either naka-mask siya dun sa mga videos or kunya side pro file lang niya yung kita para parang hindi masyadong like head on na parang kitang kita yung face mo and also kasi we sell jewelry so as for us kunya putol yung face or yung hands mo lang yung kita yun yung bini video mo i don't also think na you should always jump kagad on trends like if something works naman for you since some people naman na kunya instagram nila very high traffic naman on like mga feed posts kasi yung mga photo posts that you can do that din naman this is, I guess, just a supplementary thing that you can do if especially feel mo na kunyar, oh, parang ang baba naman ng engagement nung post ko or parang Instagram, I want to reach more people. So you can try to do that. But otherwise, if something is working then for you, na parang your audience um, resonates with this type of media, I don't think there's so, you should jump kagad on the trend. It's maybe something na if you want to explore lang, pang dagdag lang din dun sa mga things that you're doing, they go for it. Feeling ko ang iksina nung attention span ng mga tao, so a lot of it is kailangan parang, yeah, yeah, parang information na parang ilang seconds lang that shows your brand, your story, your what you're inspired by, what you're doing, kahit behind the scenes, parang you have to always keep filming na nga daw ngayon kasi everything is content. When I started making reels, naka, personally, naka increase siya ng followers for me and also ng sales kasi a lot of new people have been seeing my items and products and stories na they want to also purchase or just want to support or like or message. So yung pinaka-viral video with currently 1.7 million views, honestly, na-shock din ako, was yung gumawa kami ng QR code scan nung vaccine pass. As in, honestly, joke lang siya. Na parang, kasi, ha, huh, kaya nga ba na yung QR scanner, masascan yung parang vaccine pass? Kasi nga, at that time, mas kailangan mo pa ipakita yung vaccine card mo. So, it will be easier. Parang gano'n, yun yung joke. We went to Decathlon, actually. Tapos, si ate, sobrang helpful to us. Na kahit na sobrang daming times na namin siya tinry scan. Kasi, I guess, industrial yung scanner nila. Hindi makita yung sobrang smaller red compared to like normal phone na scanner. After namin tinry ng sobrang tagal, eventually na, nag-scan siya and nag-work. So yun yung pinaka-viral. I guess kasi ang cute din ni Ate Guard. And shout out to Ate Guard ko <laughs> na nanood siya. Ang ganda nga that most makers, you guys, like usually you guys make everything yourselves. Because um, ang dami yung content, like material, na you have access to, to show to other people. It's very valuable yun eh, to show how you make it. Kasi it gives you, gives the audience perspective na, oh, ganun pala ginago yun, or ang hirap pala. It also makes them understand your pricing, and also kung kunyari hindi siya as perfect as yung mga commercial items, it also gives them insight na, kasi handmade siya. As in, obviously, hindi siya perfect na perfect. May handmade touch and quality siya that you can show through yung videos. You know, syempre, it's an extra step. Maybe invest in a tripod. Everything is content talaga. You should go ahead and try it kasi it's a new type of content nga that is booming. And honestly, TikTok pa lang, it's, parang, it's become such a big thing over like a few years na. So it's something that uh, sayang eh, if you don't jump on kagad na early on pa lang that you can gain audience from it na habang may momentum siya. Maybe just try taking random videos of your day, tapos making like a collage of it. It's already a big step to trying this new thing out. So that is it guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Common Room's YouTube channel.